Now, recall that we are studying the physical property environment and we have previously stated that we need two specifications. The first one will be the content, uh, component list and the second one is the fluid package. Right now, we're going to see why do we need a fluid package and how can we choose it, okay? So the property package selection depends on the type of components and type of process we're going to carry on. The good thing is that we have plenty of packages, so we got plenty of specifications. For instance, this is a list of packages, so you can read all of them. I would say the most common one for overall process is Peng Robinson, but you can get much more specific ones. I don't know, maybe even Antoine. You want to move model like Antoine, you can do it, it's like the L gas, and each model will have its own specification, okay? So typically, we will choose either by recommendation or by the method assistant, okay? So we can search by method assistant, which is right here. We are already in the physical properties environment, physical properties environment. And once we click home, you will get these buttons right here. So click on the method assistant, which is a assistant which helps you on the type of fluid package you will want to choose depending on the components. So first, you must have chosen the components. And once you have chosen those components, check here on the method assistant. So it will actually show you a help site button. It's no longer a assistant. It's actually just a link that links you to a help section right here, which is Aspen Heisis Property Package Selection Assistant. And it will go this way, either choose by component or by process type. So this is a little example. Let's say I have a process. So I choose, I will choose by process. I don't know the components. I only know the process. And then let's assume I got a gas or dehydration of gas. So once I click this process, the method assistant will recommend me this set of fluid packages. For instance, Peng Robinson, CPA, or the glycol package. Well, more, I will say that Peng Robinson is very, let's say, general. So you should cho uh, choose the glycol package, which is recommended for the dehydration of TEG, okay? Now, you could go also by type of component. If you, I don't know, you know you're going to be using amines or maybe you're, you're going to use aromatics and so on, you can do it also, okay? And the good thing is that it shows you how it's uh, calculated. For instance, the equations of states depending on the fluid package and so on. Right now, yeah, right now I only choose this one, but it will also show you how to calculate the factor, eccentric factor, fugacity, volatility, uh, all the coefficients for activi uh, activity, etc. Now, I got this question a lot and they tell me what's the thumb rule uh, thumb rule for the processes or fluid package selection i already stated that you can use the fluid package by yourself but if you want to know a little bit more on why or how they are chosen you can check out this diagram so first things first we'll tell you is it a gas uh, is it non-polar yes well if it's non-polar use pink rabbits that's safe mode okay if it's non Polar, sorry, if it's actually a polar component, they ask you, does it has electrolytes? Well, if it's, it does not contain electrolytes, then choose NRTL. Otherwise, go here. They will ask you, is it high on pressure? If it does, choose Uniquack. Otherwise, continue. If you do not know the boiling points, choose this one and blah, blah, blah. You can continue this way. Also, this little diagram. So you get this, let's say, Polarity, you start by polarity. Is it polar or non-polar? Let's say we're using benzene and toluene, so it's non-polar. Is it real or pseudo component? Well, we know that benzene and toluene are already in the HISIS database, so it's real, okay? So it will tell me choose Penn Robinson or RKW, oh, sorry, RKS, Relic Quang Suave or Likas Le Pockler. Now let's assume we have non-electrolytes. So is it polar or non? Uh, sorry, is it low pressure or high pressure? Let's say it's low pressure. 
Do we know the interaction parameters? Let's say, no, we don't know. So choose this one, okay? Otherwise, we can choose directly via type of process. So if you know you're working with chemical systems, choose this one. If you know you're going to use 3-ethyl-TEG, I only know the name Spanish, it's 3-ethyl-glycol dehydration with aromatics, use Peng Robinson. PR stands for Peng Robinson. PRSV stands for Peng Robinson Suave, I think so. And well, it's also a good thing to know that even though you don't know the fluid package, if you choose, for instance, this is a very good example, water and ethanol, and let's say you want to model it by Pen Robinson, which is a very common fluid package, it will tell you, oops, ethanol is not recommended with this fluid package. Why? Because it's very polar and it's organic. So it, it still tells you, we don't recommend it. What do you want to do? Continue? Eliminate the component or choose another uh, fluid package. So that's also a good point to start. Hysis will warn you if you're choosing a good or bad fluid package. For instance, here I changed from Peng Robinson to this one right here, which is Antoine. And it states that it's okay, there's no problem. So that's awesome. Now in the next video, we're going to do this little exercise, which will be filling up the physical environment properties. Okay, so good luck on that. I'm very excited because this is the first approach to using the software.